Cheers, y'all. Well, 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 well. That's such a welcome sound. Welcome, my friends. Well, it is, it's a welcoming sound. It's designed to welcome people once again to our little radio program called Smoking and Toasting. We are all about crappier fine spirits and hand-rolled cigars and hearing the well-well in the uh, in, in, in <laughs> the, the, uh, the well I like well. that. Uh, welcome to show number 133, live from B&B Lemon. We've talked a lot about B&B Lemon on the show, but we've never actually come here to do a live broadcast until today. So we are live on Facebook. If you're checking us out on Facebook, by the way, please do share it with your friends. And uh, quite frankly, even Don't if you're checking us out after the fact. Please share it with your friends. Absolutely, we absolutely. we appreciate that. Uh, today's show is number one hundred and thirty three. We will be talking about signature cocktails at B and B Lemon, and uh, Chastity will be joining us. Chastity is the uh, head bartender here at uh, Lemon, and she'll be uh, she'll be serving up some fine cocktails. They they already we, yeah said, we don't know what we're bringing. They, they already said us, some right? title of a cocktail. Go, oh, we got to do that one. So. Um, so they, oh, so they have, have an have idea of where they're headed, but I don't know uh, exactly what it's going to be. So we'll just look forward to that, and she'll explain it in, in, uh, in due time. Um, B&B Lemon, uh, by the way, we're brought to you by B&B Butchers and Restaurant. Uh, we're right across the street from the 1814 Washington Avenue location. Uh, they're also in the shops at Clear Fork in Fort Worth. And then we're here at B&B Lemon, which, again, is right across the street from uh, the Houston B&B location and is... Something of a, uh, I, I, how would you describe it? It's kind of pub like. Uh, it's kind yeah, of it's uh, like it's like a B and B take on a pub. So you get your high end cocktails and yeah. uh, and drinks and stuff. It's not not a dive bar by any means. Yeah, it's very friendly, very uh, very welcoming. Food's uh, great. Not um, a dive bar, and I think you'll get that impression once we start talking specialty cocktails that this is definitely well, not a just, dive bar. But. We just found out that they have a brunch now too. Oh yes, yeah, that's that's yeah, on, they just uh, started on the weekends, the brunch right? Yeah. a few weeks ago. And, uh, and I have an example of the menu here, so we might have to read some of those things oh, off. Well, maybe maybe poetically. Poetically, yeah. yes. Maybe you could read them. You know, like how they do mean tweets on uh, on late night TV. Maybe you could do do it sort of like in a particular style or whatever. Style. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, I was thinking more like more like uh, more beatnik, maybe. Oh, I like you that know? sort of a beat poet uh, right, sort right. of a vibe. You, you've got a little <laughs> bit of that air about you. I need you, I need more uh, more. Small triangle goatee yeah. to make well, that happen, you but would, I can do it. But you've got the wireless mic, you've got the B poet thing going, so it could, it could work. It could work. Uh, B and B Lemon is a uh, uh, a nice small establishment. It's mm -hmm. Not uh, you know the the regular B and B restaurants pretty big, but uh, uh, but B and B Lemon is small, and so uh, it's a very cozy sort of place to come and drink and enjoy some cocktails. And of course, the the bar is you know well equipped, just like at B and B. Mm -hmm. So it's a uh, so, so it's a good situation. They got this covered patio outside with the heaters and everything. So. <laughs> yep. So we'll be talking they're... cocktails. We'll be uh, smoking some cigars. I see you've uh, you've got one of my favorites in your hand there. Well, Ian. I don't know where I got this cigar. It is an AJ Fernandez. Yeah, I don't know. I wonder where that might have come from. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is the one you laid on me earlier. So uh, yeah, I figured I'd try this. I haven't tried the New World it's by AJ World. Fernandez. Yeah, it yeah. looks fantastic. I think you'll enjoy the, that. The uh, construction on this looks amazing. It's just a, it's kind of a dark. Uh, chocolatey brown. It's Definitely a very box press. Box yep. press very mm -hmm. square edge kind of box press, which just looks super well made. Yeah, and so, uh, nice and firm all the way around. While you were admiring that earlier, I used that opportunity to sneak a cigar out of your little uh, La Polina travel just humidor. Just like one of the cigars I had yeah, in my little La Polina travel was humidor. One of the cigars you had in your La Polina travel humidor. Uh, this is the Southern Draw Soli Deo Gloria. Did I say that right? Soli Dio Gloria. I believe so. All right. And it's that is the, the Cedrus. Cedrus yes. Yeah, yeah. Or it's Cedrus? Is it Cedrus or Cedrus? Cedrus, I think. All right. Eh, Cedrus? Cedrus? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, all I know is you smoked it and talked about it on the show before, and you yes, actually raved yes, about I it. I absolutely love that cigar. Mm -hmm. I've had quite a few of those yeah, uh, well, since then. So. I can tell you that the pre-light sniff on this thing is just absolutely and that's loaded with promise. That's a know? unique cigar compared to what I normally get cuz you know normally I'm dark chocolatey maduro mm -hmm, like that's just mm -hmm. kind of where I live. Kind of your uh, and neck of the woods. That one yes. is woody. I mean yes. it is deliciously yes. woody. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm loving it already. Yeah, I'm loving it already. <laughs> Uh, so a lot going on in the show. We're going to be trying some very, in, in addition to the uh, signature cocktails from here at B&B, &B, we're trying some very interesting beers. Uh, on the last several shows, we've tried a lager, and we're going to keep that trend going this week. 
with a lager called Tropic Thunder. It's from our friends at Stone. Mm -hmm. And Stone, so known for their ales, particularly their IPAs. Uh, so it would be interesting to see Stone's take on a lager. And that that's It's going to we'll be, be like the biggest lager ever. It probably will be. <laughs> I mean, now we Stone. Had, you know, we had the, uh, uh, was it the No Label uh, lager on mm -hmm. a couple of weeks ago? And that thing was just delicious. I mean, it was full and juicy and, and uh, had a really nice hot balance to it. Not what you traditionally expect from a lager. And uh, I think this is a real trend. We, we read a lot that in 2018 we were going to see a real sort of a push for loggers. Yeah. I don't remember seeing as much of it as I was expecting, but now they seem to be, or maybe maybe some of these have been around since, you know, middle of 2018, and they're just kind of coming into my uh, into my view. I don't know. Well, but. so I think, no, I think the trend is that there there's a lot more loggers. I think uh, consumers have reached a point with their palate where they've had the biggest of the big, and they've had, you know, the... The, the macro brews and everything. And right. You want something that's a little more sessionable. Doesn't it feel like people are looking for balance? Now? Yeah, something yeah. a little more sessionable that you can have, you know, a six-pack over the course of a day and not be, mm -hmm. you know, walking at 45 degrees out the door. And we've talked about the Lagunitas Daytime IPA. Yeah, that's How delicious one. it is and very crushable. I mean, it's uh, fewer calories than a Bud I've, Light. I've actually bought quite a few six-packs of that. It's delicious yeah, and yeah. delicious and lower calories. So and it's I've a, got some, uh, last time I was in Austin, I've got some friends out there that do uh, uh, triathlons all the time. Time, and they're always looking for a lower calorie mm -hmm. drink. So I brought a six pack over to their place, and they were absolutely loving it. Think about it for just a few calories more than a Michelob Ultra yeah. and less than a Bud Light, you can enjoy an actual good tasting, balanced IPA. Yeah. And that's what, you know, and those guys don't sponsor us. It's just something we tried and we loved. So, um, so speaking of sponsors, though, before I get too far from this. <clears throat> Um, B and B, we talk all the time about their bacon. We just tried uh, right before the show started the Parmesan bacon uh, appetizer. That's like the third or fourth iteration of bacon they have. Yeah, and, it's and, and uh, here at, here at B and B Lemon, and I, I'm just going to say it's just wrong. If it's it was wrong half, on every level. If it was half as good as it is, it would still be amazing. It would still be awesome. Like they, everything after half as good as it actually is is wasted because it's just way too good. Oh, I don't know if it's wasted because it's <laughs> awesome. So we recommend that highly if you're uh, if you're here at B&B uh, &B Lemon. So we are out on the porch here where we'll be able to uh, enjoy a cigar in a few moments. But let me tell you about the rest of the beers. Uh, <clears throat> El Segundo Brewing <clears throat> from El Segundo, California. We'll be tasting a double IPA of El Segundo's called Surfin' Bird. Surfin' Bird. And it does have a bird on a surfboard on the uh, on the label. Now, that doesn't bother me, but I will tell you this. I searched the label diligently before bringing it on the show to make sure it didn't say anywhere on the label, bird is the word. Because <laughs> I absolutely... We're doing great, man. Thank you. Uh, because Thanks, I Eric. absolutely hate that song. And I don't hate many songs. I really don't. Like... Like I'm, I'm very. I like to think of myself as very open-minded musically, but I hate "Bird Is the Word." <laughs> I hate "Hang On Sloopy," stupidest song. What about like the ever banana fan of faux fan? I'll song. see. I'll even handle that. I'll even handle that. <laughs> but no "Bird Is the Word." <laughs> no <laughs> "Hang On Sloopy." You had to. And, you had to hate that uh, Family Guy episode oh, where they kept going. Oh back yeah. To oh, it was awful. It was awful. Uh, and <laughs> so, no uh, "Bird Is the Word." No hang on Sloopy and nothing by Cardi B. Uh, 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 other than that, I'm I'm pretty good, you know? Oh, I'm, I'm easy. I'm easy. So, uh, anyway. Uh, I was thinking, would we sound more modern if we just ran both of these mics through auto-tune at all times? Oh, yes. Especially yours because you've got the uh, wireless, the wireless adapter there. And you, uh, you, could, you could just go right into the auto-tune and, and then right out. By wireless uh, adapter, what he really means is that there's no wire attached to my microphone. Yeah, see? Whereas I am connected to the world with my wire here. By connected, he means tied down like a yeah, slave. Yeah, pre pretty much like that. Uh, <laughs> from Fort George Brewing, Ian, I have brought something that I'm really excited to be able to, to uh, spring on you. It's the Russian Imperial Stout from Fort George Brewing, which is Astoria, Oregon. And it's called From Astoria with Love. That's awesome. Yes, and so I'm really looking forward to that. So we've got a lot Astoria to talk about. A uh, cigar smoking competition was just held. They did not break the record. The FDA has proposed new guidelines for introducing new cigars and Beverly Hills. I'm so excited about this. Do you remember we uh, talked?
talked on a show a couple a yeah. couple of shows ago about how Beverly Hills was banning sales of all tobacco products, and right. this would mean that our friends there at the uh, at the cigar lounge where mm -hmm. we did the live show in Beverly Hills would have to close. Beverly Hills has now voted to exempt cigar lounges from the tobacco sale ban. Somebody yeah. in California actually saw a reason. So the Buena Vista Cigar There's Club... There's hope for, for life, yeah. Yep, the Buena Vista Cigar Club will remain open because outside of the Buena Vista Cigar Club and a couple of other uh, locations, it's like Ian always describes when you're trying to smoke in California. It's easy. You just you don't smoke anywhere outside or inside. Yeah, anywhere else, else, not a problem. You're all good, yeah, absolutely. So... Uh, so anyway, we'll have the story for you, uh, and we'll be uh, talking with Chastity, who I saw already brought some delicious-looking oh, look cocktails that. out. Woo like, we're looking at them from across the patio, yeah, and they yeah. look amazing. So i tell you what we'll do. We'll take a quick break. We'll uh, light up our cigars, and we'll uh, get ready to talk to Chastity about, uh, about some cocktails here. Live at B&B &B Lemon, this is Smoking and Toasting. It's show number 133, Signature Cocktails, and we're going to try to get Chastity to tell us how to make these. Uh, so we'll see if we can <laughs> she, create these at home. Pry some she's of the secrets out of her. Yeah, she's already laughing like, yeah, you, you're not going to make this at home. Uh, we'll be right back at Smoking and Toasting.